This is a special edition of PNN Corruption in Trump Land. Corruption in Trump Tower. Corruption in the White House. And the Corruption Cabinet. All that and more coming up on PNN. Welcome to Progress News Network, the daily broadcast dedicated to real news for fair minded Americans. It's Monday, October 29th. First up, corruption in Trump Tower. It's no secret Donald Trump has bragged about his charitable giving, but we can now say his nonprofit organization rife with corruption. The New York Attorney General's Office launched an investigation into the foundation's practices and on Thursday filed a massive complaint against Trump and his family. The complaint alleges a pattern of persistent illegal conduct occurring over more than a decade and seeks $2.8 million in other penalties. Among the charges are extensive unlawful political coordination with the Trump presidential campaign and a willful self-dealing transactions to benefit Mr. Trump's personal and business interests. Next up, corruption in the White House. President Trump appears to have been personally involved in discussions on a new headquarters building for the FBI. His administration scrapped plans to sell the existing site in downtown Washington to private developers. Internal government emails recently made public show federal officials discuss plans to, quote, execute Trump's orders. Those orders to halt the sale of the downtown D.C. building near the Trump International Hotel. Critics have alleged that Trump only intervened because he didn't want another luxury hotel across the street competing with his own. This has raised questions about whether the president is making decisions about the FBI headquarters based on what is best for his own financial interest and not what is best for the country. If the Democrats take the House in the coming midterms, the House Oversight Committee will investigate this apparent conflict of interest. Corruption in the Trump cabinet. Well, the charges and resignations within the Trump cabinet are unparalleled in American history. HHS Secretary Tom Price resigned after billing taxpayers $400,000 for travel on military and private jets. The EPA's Scott Pruitt resigned after a record 16 federal investigations into alleged misconduct were filed. Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin has a net worth of $300 million. He charged the government $800,000 for travel on military jets, including his honeymoon. Commerce Secretary Wilbur Ross failed to disclose significant ownership of a shipping company with tight business ties to Russia. The chief of staff to Secretary of Veterans Affairs, David Shulkin, was forced to resign after an inspector general report found that she doctored an email and made false statements to ethics officials regarding official travel for Shulkin and his wife. Education Secretary Betsy DeVos is requiring the U.S. Marshals to protect her at a cost to taxpayers of approximately half a million dollars a month because education is, well, so dangerous. There it is, just keeping them honest. Thanks for watching PNN. We always like hearing from you, so please comment, share, and like us on Facebook. We'll see you tomorrow.